One of the most decorated military officers of World War II is from Arkansas. General William Orlando Darby was picked to lead the original Army Rangers who were patterned after and trained by the famed British commandos. In a special report, I take a look back at this military hero's life and how his legacy lives on today. He was very involved in tons of activities. Darby Watkins is one of the last living relatives of General William Orlando Darby. He was personable and driven. Watkins is proud of his family history. His sister was my mother, and when her health declined and she got older, she'd asked me if I would continue carrying on his tradition. And Darby's legacy remained strong. Darby was born and raised in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Following high school, he went to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. He was then chosen to create, command, and lead the U.S. Army Rangers. And he read them, uh, led them through North Africa, to Sicily, and, and then he went into Italy. Darby was killed during the final days of World War II in 1945. He was named Brigadier General following his death, making him the only soldier to receive such a promotion posthumously. I would say that uh, he was he's probably the highest decorated and most uh, famous of the military officers from Arkansas, and certainly in World War II. From books and movies to monument streets and schools named in his honor, Darby's story lives on in many forms. It's a fitting tribute to a man who spent his life leading the way. The, the leadership that General Darby left is carried on today. And to see something that was started in 1942 carry on in 2018 is pretty amazing. Darren McKinney is the president of the Darby Legacy Project in Fort Smith. We wanted people to know about General Darby, and so we, we constructed a statue of General Darby. And there was a lot of thought put into the placement of the statue. When we decided to do the statue here, uh, Darby, we put it in Cisterna Park. Cisterna is, you know, it is our sister city, but it, the reason why it's our sister city is because it's one of the largest battles with the Rangers involved, and it's one of the, it's the biggest battle where casualties, where Rangers suffered. McKinney says the statue was built to help carry on Darby's legacy. Just having people talk about it, having uh, people come out and say, what, what does Darby mean? That is, that is what the ultimate goal for us was. And for Watkins, he's proud of the people working to keep his uncle's name alive. World War II is becoming a distant memory. Ten years ago is a distant memory, but I think that the sacrifice uh, is something that is timeless and people can wrap their minds around. Uh, today. General William Darby was 34 years old when he was killed. He was originally buried in a cemetery near Florence, Italy, but in 1949 his body was returned to Arkansas. He's now buried in the Fort Smith National Cemetery. General Darby's childhood home has been restored into a museum. The Darby House is located, fittingly enough, on General Darby Street in Fort Smith. It contains personal military memorabilia of the general and World War II. It also has tributes to Darby and artifacts from Cicertina uh, Italy, which is Fort Smith's sister city. The house became available by an estate, and the Rangers bought the house and restored it. It took, what, oh, three to four years to restore the house. But uh, this is house was actually built in 1890. Uh, we are in Darby's bedroom as we speak. And it was completely restored, updated, and established and opened in 1984 to a, a museum. Today, there are hundreds of Army Rangers that serve our country and they learn about General William Darby early on. Darby laid the groundwork for the modern Army Rangers. Till this day, no soldier can earn a Ranger tab without passing the Darby phase of training wow. first. Every ranger that comes through, you gets a chance to come through Fort Smith. They come to Fort Smith because of General Darby. They come to the school to, to see Darby Junior High. They come to the statue. They go to the National Cemetery to pay their respects to General Darby because he is the, the father of the ranger community. 
Darby Watkins. Darby's nephew tells us that he knows of more than 100 soldiers who have named their children William or Darby after his uncle. And you can find the special report on our website. That's nwahomepage.com. Also, head on over to our social media pages on Twitter and Facebook. We will be asking you some trivia questions about General Darby throughout the morning. Good story, Caitlin. Yeah, it was really neat to learn about him and the history behind his story. A lot of great information.